Oh man, I have been so excited to make this video for you guys. It's as much from me as it is for you. So let's get into it. My five favorite movies coming out this summer. In the number five spot, we have Spider-Man Far From Home. It's the 23rd film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is a feat on its own. Tom Holland is back portraying Peter Parker, AKA Spider-Man, but probably the most exciting thing about this movie for me is that Jake Gyllenhaal is making his MCU debut as Mysterio. We don't know if Mysterio is good. We don't know if he's bad. He looks like he's helping Peter Parker in the trailer, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. Another thing is, spoiler alert, don't listen to this if you don't want to hear it. Spider-Man died in Infinity War. I don't want to go, I don't want to go, sir, please. So how does he have another film? We'll probably figure that out with these next two Marvel films. In the number four spot, we have Lion King. Now I love Lion King. Lion King music, Elton John, it was amazing. Are we gonna be able to recapture that? Or should we just push aside the old Lion King and elevate this new Lion King to just something entirely different? I mean, it has the likes of Beyonce, Childish Gambino, and Jon Favreau coming back to direct. So this film already is looking like an A freaking plus. For me. In the number three spot, we have Aladdin. Now, Aladdin was one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. As a young boy, I could picture myself as Aladdin when I was growing up. So we are wondering how Will Smith is gonna tackle the iconic role of the genie. We also have Men Masood and Naomi Scott taking on the roles of Aladdin and Jasmine. I'm excited to hear their beautiful voices just grace my ears. In the number two spot, which I did not know that I wanted until I saw the trailer, is Detective Pikachu. So apparently Ryan Reynolds is just on this roll of doing voiceover movies and I am into it. I used to love Pokemon cards. I played it on Game Boy. Pokemon Red and Pokemon Crystal were my favorites, just so you know. I'm wondering how these anime characters are gonna come to life on the screen and they already look amazing from the trailers. This summer is just full of nostalgia and I'm here for it. And my number one most anticipated movie of the summer could also be the most anticipated movie of the year is Avengers Endgame. One of the best cliffhangers in all of cinema history happened in Avengers Infinity War. Oh God. And we are all wondering how Avengers Endgame is gonna pan out. We're wondering how everyone's gonna come back to life, if they're gonna come back to life, and gosh, we are wondering, are Cap and Iron Man going to die? How is Thanos gonna die? Is there time travel? What can we expect for phase four? What are the end credits gonna be? What are the mid credits gonna be? What does Kevin Feige have up his sleeve? Because we are not done with any of these characters. Chris Evans said that during the first hour, he cried multiple times. So if Cap cries, gosh, I am going to be a puddle of tears. So guys, those are my five most anticipated movies of the summer. We have Spider-Man, we have Lion King, we have Aladdin, Detective Pikachu, and Avengers Endgame. These are big movies. These are blockbuster movies. So if you think you're going to be bored this summer, mm -mm, you're not. You got all these movies to go and see. Let me know what your most anticipated summer movie is. Put it in the comments. Check out my other videos. Catch you on the flippity flip. See you guys.